This is pure emotion for Jorge. I mean, you meet the guy and he's, no pun intended, a ball of emotion. <laughs> you know, he really is uh, a guy that thinks of family, thinks of love, thinks of uh, music, thinks of Mexico with all his being. Like, he's really, really of a piece with the, with the movie he made. And I felt it had many themes that I have in common in my movies and in my preoccupations visually. Uh, I love the saturation of the colors, the richness of the textures, and, uh, and that only happens when a filmmaker comes in trying not to emulate another filmmaker, when it's personal. His universe is completely personal to him. The Book of Life is about what it takes, what decisions do, uh, t uh, you need to create your own life, to create your own destiny. And it's a love story that goes beyond any barrier. You know, the idea of uh, somebody that loves somebody so much that uh, he will travel to the netherworld beyond uh, any prudence, the most great heroism, and he will confront his fears in order to get that person back. There is a constant fight between the female and the male uh, powers. And La Muerte is the feminine, god-like power of the underworld. She is all-encompassing, she is generous, she's warm, she is basically um, the light, you know? And Shibalba is the darkness. Shibalba is the egotist, selfish, uh, self-absorbed, petty, uh, male force of uh, the underworld. You know, she wants to do good for humanity because she believes humanity is good. And Shibalba wants to uh, create mischief, and he believes humanity is essentially a downfallen uh, proposal, you know? So it's a very interesting fight between feminine and masculine powers. I think you, you see the movie, and the one thing that you come out really emotional about is family. It's very funny. I see this movie and I want to call my dad and I want to see my brothers and I want to see my mom. You know, it really is a, a movie that celebrates life and family. And uh, it tells you, you don't have to fit in a role. You don't have to be the guy with the two guns and the mustache. You can be a regular guy that likes to sing, that likes to, to, to look at the sunset and you don't have to feel ashamed about it, you know. We wanted to offer a Mexico that feels eminently accessible and alive. And one of the key things for me was the sound. Jorge started coming up with songs. I, I, I really supported uh, the idea that mixing it with two original songs or three original songs would be the way to go. And, and at the end of the day, we ended up with a, a soundtrack that is very vital because you're having covers of very, very famous pop songs. Uh, in the style of a Norteña Corrida, a trio, a mariachi, you know? You really have an, a rediscovery of, uh, of um, pop, pop singles, you know? And at the same time, you're presenting options like Café Tacuba or the two original songs of Paul Williams and Gustavo, which are absolutely amazing. What is great about this movie is that the adventure is an adventure not only to a place and a... And a and an action set piece or two, but it's an adventure to an emotion, a journey to an emotion, where you go back to the place that in our time is the hardest place to visit, which is your family. You know, it really is a place that, where you're gonna find everything you need and the greatest treasure of all, but we don't think about it like that. And, and I think the, the movie is a journey to creating and forming your, your family in a way that you can embrace it as a treasure. And, and that was the biggest adventure for me in the movie. As a father and as a son, I was very conscious of that being the journey.